Well, hello everyone. This is Shrivenzal. Welcome to uh, part two of the tour of our realm. Uh, this is, again, this is Pug's Ranch right here. And um, we're going to be heading down, down the track, heading back to our original spawn area, which is actually pretty far away. Um, probably take a night or two, of uh, Minecraft night or two, to actually get there. Uh, up there is my birthday gift with the cow that's flying around in a circle endlessly. Again, here is our racetrack for us uh, racing horses. And uh, down this way, I'm going to have a hard time kind of seeing it right now. But we're heading into a very large swamp. Goes off all that distance up in there. It's all down in here, is the edge of it. This is where we come and get our uh, kill slimes to get slime balls. You can't see it, but there's a witch's hut out there. This is all swampland in here. Swampland, does that make sense? Anyway. It's a very big swamp. I don't see any slimes at the moment. It's a pig. very large swamp. You can see the platform for a track going off to our right. There's no track on there. I built that out a while back. But uh, you walk along that track and it's all swamp back in there. Coming up ahead is just a little uh, hut I built uh, for when I'm out here collecting slimes. That's a little place to escape to. Yeah, more, more swamp. I think it's pretty big, actually. Over here is some birch, birch wood biome. Hey, sunrise. There's Mr. Creeper. Yeah, it's all nice birch forest here. So we're kind of going back in time. We were we started out at the most recent builds, and now we're going back in time down the track to see some of the older builds, and eventually we'll wind up back at our spawn where we originally started. I'm going to go through some mountains here. Boy, those squid are everywhere. I have a bucket full of water and there's a squid in it. Again, this uh, realm is a survival mode realm. So all this track and all these things are all mined and, um, you know, we found coal to fire up furnaces, to turn the iron into iron ingots, to turn into rail, we find the gold and the redstone for the powered rails. Every item in this uh, realm has been created with a... Uh, in survival mode. None of this uh, endless supplies of uh, inventory in creative mode. All this stuff had to be built and dug out. See these glass panes coming up here across the tunnel? This is Pug's uh, contribution to the rail system. Yep. Don't know why. All right, this is just a little area that I excavated while I was out here uh, building this rail. 
There's nothing really to see here. I dig down into the mountain. I go all the way down to a bedrock and do some mining. Um, but beyond that, there's nothing really there to see. We're back in our birchwood forest. We're coming out of the mountains. And we're hitting more grasslands. I mentioned in the last episode, we got lots of grasslands in this uh, realm. These are all of our pet horses and pet creepers. We keep them out here. We have pet spiders too, apparently. Don't think I've been that way. We will one day head, that, head off that direction. Here's a uh, trench or a ravine that we investigated not too long ago. Uh oh. We're locked up here a little bit. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> One of these days we'll build that out, that track out that way. Let's see. What are we coming into? More forest? This horse here every once in a while winds up on the track. It can be very annoying. Alright, now we're coming into the area that's got lots and lots of flowers. I'm glad it's daytime so y'all can see them. Look at the flowers. More grassland out that way. Look at the flowers, isn't it cool? Very nice. Sheep in the water. For some reason, I built around that lava down there, in case I ever come off the rail for any reason I wouldn't plunk directly into the lava. Alright, the rail goes off that way too, but doesn't really go anywhere. There's nothing really much down there. So we're just going to keep going this way. I did have a building up there, and this rail does go up through this mountain, all the way up there, but this junction right here was a nightmare. You'd come down off of the mountain, and you'd be going so fast that even if that rail was turned off, you still wouldn't stop. You'd go right through that redstone rail. It's very frustrating. So eventually I just disassembled it. Don't, I don't ever go up there anymore. There's nothing really up there. Alright. This part of the rail is on ground level, so... It gets a little problematic sometimes. Critters get up on the rail. And this rail also goes off straight, off into the mountains that way, but I really haven't built it out very far. This is a hut I stayed in for many, many nights as I um, built this area here. But we need to switch this so that we can keep going this way. More grassland. Originally, this track was on the ground. You can see down here um, where the track actually was. And we had dug a trench along either side of the track to try to keep uh, the bad guys off of it. You can see it there. Um, 
but it never really worked. You see a creeper blowing up down there, all these creeper holes. As soon as we would go past them, they blow up anyway. And so eventually I did the work of getting this uh, rail up in the air and off the uh, ground. And now it's uh, much, a much smoother, less stressful ride. Here's more pet horses. I can't remember all of their names. Uh, we're coming into our jungle. It took a long time to find this jungle. I think this jungle goes all the way. Remember a few moments ago I showed you that rail that just went off to our left? And I said there really wasn't much there. The edge of this jungle uh, is up over on that rail. Here's a ladder over here, just in case you fall off the rail and need to get back up. You can do it. Now we're coming into an area that I spent a lot of nights in while I built out this rail system. That little dirt hut up at the top of the hill. There's nothing in it. Just a place to hide from the bad guys. This part again is on the ground. It's always been a problem. These creepers get into this groove along each side of the rail. There's a couple of ocelots bopping around down there a little while ago when I came through here earlier. Pugs built that little hut right there. It's just on top of a mine shaft that goes way down. Again, a little hut just to stay in for the night. Okay, here comes the original swamp that we found. Much smaller than that other one. This is where we came to find our slime balls and uh, various things like that early on in the, our life here on the realm. Up ahead here is a little station we built uh, for slimes, collecting slimes and living in. Okay, so this um, is on the ground. Pugs and I, we um, did a lot of work to line each side of the rail with this uh, with this garden fencing stuff. We originally had a walkway that came all the way from our spawn out to this area. We crossed it every once in a while. See, there it is right there. We just went across our own old walkway. Sometimes we would just take horses out here before we built the rail. We'd take horses. We're beginning to come back into the general area of our original spawn. We still have a ways to go. But we're getting close. Down here is one of the original villages we found. I think all the villagers are dead. We spent so much time out here building this uh, walkway and stuff that every night mobs would uh, spawn and I think eventually they killed all of the villagers that are there, or were there. It'd be cool if minecarts had headlights. <laughs> There's a walkway there, part of the walkway. And that's just another hut I built 
to uh, go in during the night when I was building this stuff out this way. There are several of those here. At the tough corner right there, you almost stop. Here's a big statue that Pugs built. It's supposed to be a robot with a trident. Right there. Little hut. Here's our walkway coming in here. You can see it. I don't know what this building is. Another robot, maybe? It looks kind of to me like a giant granary. More weird glass things from Pugs. Here is our very first original teeny weeny little swamp that we found. It's a mushroom up there that I've made into a house. You can see the light over there. And now we're finally coming into our original spawn area. And then here we come. Oh, kind of slow down in some of these curves. All right, we're gonna take this all the way through. We'll have we'll check out these buildings later. But we're gonna come through here and take this rail all the way up to the end, all the way up into the clouds. This white thing here is uh, Pugs' cloud platform. I'm not sure if it's made of wool or snow or what it is, but it's very strange. And here is my fortress that I built a long time ago. Down in there is more farming that Ian uh, Pugs had done. And uh, he's also got a, a big, massive underground installation there. Yeah, you don't see it, but... Uh, ouch. But we're going to go check that out. Let's go check that out now. And then we'll come back here in episode 3 and start um, our third episode uh, with the tour of the castle and the other stuff. But let's go over here and check out this uh, other stuff. Yikes. That the kids had done. Run away. Oh, cow. We'll talk a little bit in the next episode about some of these installations. I don't know what that is, that big tower that goes up. Pugs, I think, did that. And that's his cloud platform. What does this say? cool thing finish if you want. Nah, okay. Let's have a look down here. Ooh, I thought that was a creeper when I saw it. Corner of my eye. Oh, but there is a skelly. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate these things. He had originally showed me that it was all powered with redstone and uh, maybe one of these days we'll get a better look at it. It's kind of dark down here. Okay, uh, over here is something of his. I think I hear an Enderman. What? Oh. Cool. It's got jack-o'-lanterns. Don't know what all this stuff is. 
But Pugs did all this. I think Hus Huskies might have helped. I don't remember. All right, there's a portal there. I don't know what this is. Just a hut, it looks like. And over here is his horse stables. Yikes. What do you do? What do you want? Go away. Wish. Yeah, sheep and horse. Uh oh, we're locked up here. Come on, computer. Little guy. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so this this is a lot of it. So let's go ahead and end it here, and then the next episode we'll pick it up again at the, uh, up in the, um, fortress that I had made. Bye.